So I woke up this. So I woke up this morning and I I, I wasn't sure if I actually bought a Miata. So I, I need to go out to the garage to make sure what happened yesterday was actually reality. <laughs> I actually bought it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, there's a bird. Why on earth did I buy this? Oh, I don't regret it one bit. This is great. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just so excited about it. But today we are going to actually start doing some work on the car. Now let me put the hood up. It holds itself up. Perfect. So if you can put two and two together, we need to see what kind of the damage this actually has. And in order to do that, we need to take off pretty much everything. So the way we're going to start this out is about as simple of a process as you can get. Hitting the subscribe button and checking out philsuper.com. And after you do that, we need to just start ripping things apart. So pretty much my plan to start things off is to just start unscrewing everything. I'm gonna take off the fenders, take off the headlights, the headlight covers, and start taking off as much as I can from the front to see where we actually sit with the car. As you guys saw before, the engine runs and the smoke is all coming from a belt that's rubbing on the front of the engine. Because what happened is this was pushed back so far that it's actually hitting the engine. This should be about four inches further forward than it is right now. So I need to get everything off to see what is actually something we can keep like the engine and what parts I need to find a replacement for. So it's as simple as ripping things apart. We're going to end up with a lot of extra screws, which is A-OK -okay for me. And let's just go ahead and get to work. The best part of every job, taking things apart. Let's go. Alright, so it's a while later and I've got more things off. It may not look much different, but I've got it to the point where I'm ready to start cutting. So here's where we're going to start and here's why we're cutting now and not trying to remove anymore. My goal beforehand was to try to remove the AC unit and the radiator because, well, both of them are ruined and need to be replaced. Now the issue was this is pushed so far back and it's bent so far over here. This should be straight. So this right here should actually be right here. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a good foot and a half over almost. So what I'm going to do, since I can't pull the radiator out, I just straight up cannot get access to it, is I'm gonna start cutting off to free up this top bar so I can try to pull it back to get behind there to get the bolts off. So we're gonna make a cut here, and then we're gonna make two cuts here, one here, and then one on this inside to free this up. And then this top part should be completely unconnected from everything else, disconnected, excuse me, so I can then pull that out to get to the radiator. So let's go ahead and get that cut up right now. <laughs> Well, I hope you guys like updates because I got one for you. So I went ahead and just went to bed and then I woke up, believe it or not. So here's where we're at because I kind of had this, you know, that laying in the bed, kind of thinking through ideas, kind of debating where I wanted to go with this. And I think I've come up with a solid conclusion that isn't ideally what I wanted, but I think it'll work out just as well. So first off, you could tell, well, there's another car in here, which is the other Miata. So the way I was looking at it was I was trying to figure out how much can I salvage, kind of put back together before I needed to get a new Miata and kind of Frankenstein the frame. And then I was thinking, well, if I'm gonna get a new Miata, I might as well just swap everything from this one into the broken one. And so I think that's the plan that I'm going to go with. Essentially, this is a complete donor car now. What I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna keep my eye out for another Miata on Facebook Marketplace, just a complete shell for a decent price. And then I will take that and transfer everything from this Miata into the that Miata. So that brings the question of why is this one in here? And well, it's because I'd mentioned way back when I got this, like last episode, that I wanted to upgrade this one with the parts from this one. And so that is what we're going to do but there's a few parts specifically that we're going to do. It's not gonna be a complete transfer, except it also is a kind of gonna be a complete transfer. So here's what I mean by that. I need to pull this engine out in order to fix the oil pan. And in addition, this engine is gonna to have to come out anyway, no matter what. So then what comes up to mind is whether or not I want to put the engine from this white Miata into the black Miata. Now the engine on the red Miata has roughly 170, 180,000 miles. And this one has 140,000 miles. That one in the corner there has 111,000 miles. And then there's another one at my parents' house that has 200,000 miles. So I currently have four NA6 Miata engines. Um, yeah. Any 
you want to buy one, I, I could probably sell you one. So knowing that I need to pull this one out, I have the debate of do I just want to reseal this oil pan and put it back on because I know this car has been running or this engine has been running well, or do I want to put this one in? So what I'm going to do is once I can free this one up, I'll kind of give this one an inspection to see if it's worth throwing into this Miata. Because if this one has a solid oil pan and there's no real leaks coming out of it, I'm going to put that one in so that way I have essentially 20,000 to 30,000 to 40,000 less miles in my red Miata, which is going to be my long-term Miata. But in addition to that, there are actually many parts that I want to transfer over as well from the white Miata. This white Miata has better brake discs that I want to put over there. It also has that better roll bar that I want to put over. And then I need to do research to see how hard it would be to take the AC unit, put it over and cruise control and put it over and do a lot of that conversion over to this other car. So with all these different directions that we can possibly go, the way that we're going to start is to continue working on removing the front of the white car. It's so mangled that it's still just going to be a lot of cutting, trimming and pulling everything out. The big deal that we're dealing with right now is getting the air compressor or the air conditioning unit and the radiator off. Neither of those actually can be salvaged. They already had holes in them before I got them. I don't have to worry about that. Even the AC lines are already bent and this canister was already smashed. So the AC unit is largely needing to be scrapped anyway. So even if we do want to transfer this over, at least these front pieces can't be saved. So we're going to continue to work on cutting this all out, getting the radiator out, and then we should have a lot easier access to getting the engine completely lifted out. So we're starting with the front. We'll catch up when it's time to actually do the engine. But let's continue hacking away, getting the front off. So here we go. All right, we've got the radiator and air conditioning unit out. Those things are free, which means we have space to start taking this engine out. So the plan that I think I've settled on is I'm gonna take this engine and put it in that one. This one looks like it's in pretty good condition. I don't really see any major leaks coming from down beneath. So we're gonna go ahead and just start taking this engine out. This will take at least a few hours, maybe a little more, maybe you have to go into the next day. The goal is to just get it completely off. So in order to do that, what we need to do is we need to go underneath, disconnect everything except for the transmission. I'm even gonna to try to take the diff off because I believe this is a limited slip diff that I I want to put on here. We're going to get this engine out because once we do, then we're going to have to take that engine out as well. So we'll start with one at a time. Let's get this pulled. All right, it's been about two and a half hours since we last checked in and I have the engine out. This is it in all its glory, unfocused. How about we focus? There we go. We have it completely out and we are ready to start actually taking some more parts out. So as I was doing this, I was kind of thinking, what is the order of events that I want to attack this in? Because I'm going to need to take that engine out and I still have things to take off this car. So, so what do I want to do and what is the order? So my thought is I want to take everything off this car that is going to go onto my red Miata. So this is going to include those front brakes. The rear brakes are not even on to this one yet. The differential also, by the way, complete side tangent. Guess you forgot to drain the gearbox oil. Um, that sucks. And I think I'm gonna take the quick release and put it on there as well, just because it's a cool thing to have. And, and since it's here, I might as well use it. If I haven't mentioned already, there's the roll bar as well, and maybe some other parts, but I need to look and kind of see what is available. That mostly meaning I really need to figure out how hard it is to swap the cruise control over because that would be the other big thing that I want on the red Miata. I don't care about the power steering, as I said before, but I would really like the cruise control. Um, but that would mean swapping over the interior as well, or not the interior, but you can't see, but this switch right here is, that's the switch where the cruise control is. So I need that. Aside from that, I just need to clean up this engine again this oil pan needs to be replaced or not replaced but resealed uh, because if you look on the front here this is all kind of damp so that all is a key indicator that it's leaking from right there ironically this is the same exact spot that it's leaking on my other miata so looks like that's just a weak point same for over here so we'll go ahead and fix that up all right so i'm immediately having some second thoughts about what i want to do with the engine i was looking over the engine again right before i started to pull it out and i realized that it needs a new valve cover needs new rear main seals and on top of that i actually haven't driven the car so i don't know if the oil ring 
things are like actually going bad. The point I'm getting at is with this engine in the red Miata, which is what I'm sitting in right now, I know that all it needs is the is the oil pan resealed. The valve covers don't leak, the rear main seal doesn't leak because I just replaced it. I replaced the seal on the cam sensor. So it's like the point is I think I'm playing with little unknowns just to have 40,000 less miles on an engine. So do I want to trade something I know works for something that might work and might last longer? I, I just don't think it's worth it. So I do need to pull the red engine out, but I think what we're going to do is I'm going to continue with taking the parts off of the white Miata that I want to put on this red Miata. So that way tomorrow I'll be able to finish that up. So that way I can add those for the red Miata. So what I'm thinking for today is I think I'm just going to clean up the engine up from the white Miata, kind of set it off to the side for now until I figure out exactly what to do with it. We pretty much just code for I'm going to wait till I can get a Miata to put that engine in. And then I'll work on transferring everything over from the white Miata onto this Miata. That being the steering wheel, roll bar, everything we just talked about. So let's go ahead and get the engine cleaned up and then we'll start taking some of the best parts off the white Miata. A lot of explaining. I'm sorry about that. Here we go. All right, it has come to the end, and we have the roll cage on, we got our brakes on, and everything is good to go for now. So looking up close, we got our brake disc right behind there. It's a little tough to tell. Of course, I always end up these videos at night. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna finish it during the day, and then I don't. But hey, look at this roll cage. So this looks so much better, not just looks wise, but it actually has a lot more protection on it as well. With a little more strength in the back, this is this is nice. It makes me feel a lot better. The other one was muffing my head. I haven't gone for a drive with this one yet, but we're gonna find out soon enough. The top still goes up and over just fine, which is great. And that is the update so far in this car. Better brakes, better roll cage Papa John's as for the white Miata we got the engine out which was the big deal that we were going for we got it cleaned up we haven't actually done any of the gaskets but it's it's literally cleaner despite being dark and not being able to get, get shots again that wraps up what we're trying to do with the white car initially at least with getting this engine out so up next I'm gonna need to start sourcing a new Miata shell so I can get this engine refreshed and in that new shell and then start transferring everything over from here I'm debating taking that tr white trunk and putting it on the red Miata because I kind of like it with the rack it just is cool and it'd be nice to have that available on the Miata so I could go on long distance trips perhaps. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on what you guys think we should do with the Miata. I, I saw your names, uh, name suggestions in the last video. Those are pretty good. I, I think the name that I'm leaning towards the most is the Meg Yada. It just, I think it fits exactly what this car is. So I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out the link down below for any of the merch in the description if you haven't given it a look. At least go take a scroll through and see what's there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Adios. Yay!